a very long time, the Nigerian legal system, particularly the courts, have adopted the manual method of operation. Court processes are filed manually. This is against what is obtained internationally, where the process is done digitally. In the open courts, judges still handwrite the proceedings, and most of the courts are not connected to the internet. The proceedings of the court are not broadcast live to the public or recorded. However, the court uses public address system for the proceedings. Technology, especially information and communication technology, now plays a huge role in legal practice. It is becoming increasingly clear that technology is a requirement for an effective and efficient legal education and practice. Before now, our laws did not recognize electronically generated evidence, but with the Evidence Act 2011, that has changed. According to some legal minds, some of the factors responsible for the slow pace of integrating technology into Nigerian's judiciary includes funding. I think one of the major challenges might be attributed to inadequate funding of the judiciary. Because when you're talking about technology, um, technological infrastructure now, you need a lot of funds, you know, to be able to achieve some of those things. So the questions we should be asking ourselves is that how well is judiciary funded? We are having so many problems because as of today, it's extremely difficult for a common man to get justice in this country. And all these things that you are looking into, but it goes beyond the judiciary itself because the money is going to be made available by the executive. And after making it available, we have to look at, we have to ensure that the money is being spent on what we actually, what those things are budgeted for. Applying ICT in the judicial and legal process will increase efficiency, promote easy research, and allow for easier information retrieval, and in the long run, reduce stress and enhance the health of judicial officers. Ultimately, it will expedite the dispensation of justice. The uh, artificial intelligence, which is everywhere now, and you know, part of the question is, how will it aid our practice? There should be continuous training. Yes, very important. There should be continuous training and sensitization of our judges. At the court's rise, the pace at which we are supposed to finish a case is delayed. A case that should, that should be done in five minutes can take up to an hour because my Lord is still writing in long hand. So now the National Assembly has done something wonderful by insisting that the funds of the judiciary should be increased. I just pray this is, I pray this is utilized judiciously by the judiciary so that at the end of the day, this basis where you outside can see and complain about will not be what we will see. A few courts already have some computers and some judges have been trained in the integration of technology in the national judicial system. Stakeholders in the sector are hoping that the process is fully applied across all cadre of the nation's courts. Emanuela Ekele, Channels Television News.